Welcome back to Elevated and Meaningful. I am Sorv. Uh, today we're going to talk about how some of the basic teachings of Baha'u'llah has influenced the world and what they are exactly, especially for those of you who haven't really uh, heard about it or read it or anything like this. Again, remember Baha'u'llah is the founder of the Baha'i faith. So here it says, and the info.baha'i.org, uh, Baha'u'llah Basic Teachings.html, which I'll post below. It says, Basic Teachings of Baha'u'llah. Baha'u'llah taught that there is one God whose successive revelations of his will to humanity have been the chief civilizing force in history. The agents of this process have been the divine messengers whom people have seen chiefly as the founders of separate religious systems but whose common purpose has been to bring the human race to spiritual and moral maturity. Humanity is now coming of age. It is this that makes possible the unification of the human family and the building of a peaceful global society. Among the principles which the Baha'i faith promotes as vital to the achievement of this goal are the abandonment of all forms of prejudice, assurance to women of full equality with men, recognition of the unity and relativity of religious truth, the elimination of extremes of poverty and wealth, the realization of universal education, the responsibility of each person to independently search for truth, the establishment of a global commonwealth of nations, recognition that true religion is in harmony with reason and pursuit of scientific knowledge. So these are some of the principles that I mentioned, which are about eight or something. Um, you can see that a lot of these principles that I mentioned by Baha'u'llah are very modernistic, very futuristic. Uh, I think we today have a problem with uh, the extremes of wealth and poverty, which Baha'u'llah has come to eliminate. And... We still see some places in the world where women don't have a, f a full equality with men and that um, uh, there are a lot of forms of prejudice that we haven't abandoned yet. Uh, and then I believe uh, education, I don't know how that's going to look exactly, education being universal. I'm, I'm thinking maybe... Uh, the same education all over the world. So when you studied uh, something in, I don't know, uh, Iran or Iraq or China, uh, it doesn't uh, prevent you from getting being able to work in the United States or in other world, parts of the world. Because uh, I know there are a lot of people who studied, but they couldn't get a job uh, that had to do with their education in, in, in whatever country they moved to. So they had to go back to school. And that could be tough. I think that's what I understand about universal education. And uh, I think a lot of the problems uh, with religion, and you know, I think there's a reason why atheism has become such a big thing in the world, especially in the United States. It's because we haven't... Uh, found the right way of searching for truth. We've always been waiting for someone to tell us. Uh, we've been handicapped. We have been uh, listening to a priest or a religious leader, and that doesn't do justice to what you might think about a particular faith or your understanding, your intellectual uh, capabilities need to be sort of put to action in order for you to appreciate what you understand and learn. Uh, and when you teach others, you do it with genuine heart and openness of mind. And uh, so 
Today, Baha'u'llah says that it's a responsibility of each person to independently investigate the truth. And this is very important. This way, no one falls uh, in the trap of, uh, you know, following blindly or traditionally or, you know, uh, because of your forefathers or parents of belief in religion, you should believe in it. Otherwise, uh, you get disconnected. And I think we should make it less of a problem if a person decides to search for another religion or truth. We should all be open-minded. Again, uh, the Baha'i faith looks at all religions, uh, like, he's, like Baha'u'llah says here, recognition of the unity and relativity of religious truth. Unity of, tr rel unity of truth, uh, religion means all religions are one, that they've all come to educate us uh, sort of like a different chapters of a book, uh, of one book, but different religions to educate us in this successive and progressive revelation. This is also really cool. I think the establishment of a global commonwealth of nations. You know, I think that has to do with economy and uh, the way we deal with currency. Uh, and then here, recognition that true religion is in harmony with the reason and the pursuit of scientific knowledge. I think that's really powerful. I think that is uh, getting us to the next level uh, of thinking in terms of, uh, again, following a religion with reason. You know, that requires scientific evidence, right? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things you cannot prove. But just because Abdul Baha says you can't prove doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. So science can give us the uh, sort of the reasonable or logical ways of discovering uh, new realities and how to discover realities. I think science is really good at helping us with that. And uh, there's a lot to see in the world today. Anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and make another video, probably elaborating more on each of these points. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe, comment, ask questions. Again, I'm Sarf. Thank you for joining Elevated Meaningful. Have a great day.